brings you to Space Tech Expo this year? So technically we arrived by bus, which is something special that we would like to uh, highlight because uh, often we come at the plane that Alex is uh, flying as a pilot. Uh, we are here for um, presenting, so we had a 20 minute talk at the technology forum and we use this uh, fair as an opportunity to uh, stay in contact with the partners we already have and also to reach out to new partners, to new clients. What have you been speaking at the uh, session? We spoke about a new technology for high altitude platforms. So what we did is to connect several individual aircraft to a new formation and this formation can carry high payload while they have an, a very low structural weight. And uh, this is essential for operation as a high altitude platform. Uh, what trends and technologies do you think we're going to see more of in the next few years? High altitude platform technology in general and complementary technology that enables the operation of uh, such high altitude platforms. Um, I think satellites are very interesting for a lot of applications in the world and on the other hand they are really expensive. So we need a solution for doing the tasks on, that are normally carried out by satellites and therefore high altitude platforms are really interesting and also technology that helps for communication, for data analysis on the hardware side and on the software side. So how do you feel the European startup community is developing the industry? Is that for you? Yes, so um, actually we think that uh, startups have the potential to disrupt the industry. However, especially in the space uh, technologies, we see a difficulty because in Germany and also in Europe, the investment um, is quite um, conservative, so let's say. So we have the experience that everyone uh, who knows about our project is really involved and uh, likes the idea and is really convinced, but when it comes to terms of financing, things are getting hard. We met some colleagues here from PT Scientists. They had made um, the next step to achieve some funding. We are still on that level and we think this is also a hurdle that we um, are approaching to tackle by, for example, visiting this, this uh, fair. So have you, what sort of people were you hoping to meet and connect with here and have you met some interesting people? Yeah, for us it's important to find some collaborators, some partners, uh, former suppliers that um, by giving sponsorships or by offering corporations uh, help us to develop the AlphaLink aircraft itself. On the other hand, we hope to find some people that are convinced um, by the technology and that are um, offering support because they are backed by bigger clients that have the money and also the legal power to make the flying of the unmanned aircraft possible. Why is attending this event so important to your business? Um, this or such events like the, the Space Expo are really important for us because they give the possibility to present the idea and to reach out the exact community that we're looking for. Specific, uh, specifically this fair is um, important because it's in Germany so it's close to our um, center in Berlin and also it's renowned to be one of the most important fairs in the uh, European aerospace industry. So can you explain a little bit about what you spoke about in your presentation and, and the models here that you have in front of you? This is a state-of-the-art um, high-altitude platform. So it's a one-wing solution. That means uh, we have one wing that goes from one side to the other side. It's in continuum. So when, for example, a gust load occurs at the wing tips, so we see we have really high banding of yeah. the aircraft. That means fatigue can happen, the aircraft structure can destroy it, and that means we have to increase the structural weight of the aircraft to ensure that we don't have any structural problems. With our solution, we see when we apply when we apply now the same load on the aircraft, we see that there's no structural displacement of the wing, it's just we have here the joints, the joints are movable but there's no bending moment um, that goes from one wingtip to the other wingtip. And that means we can design the aircraft with a lower structural weight and this lower structural weight allows us to carry more payload and that's essential for operating as a high altitude platform. <laughs>